Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm here with Aiden. He's gonna help me out with this video because he's a really good boy. Hey bud, and I'm right here. We're gonna do the giveaway. We're gonna look at some new stuff I've been working on and then we're gonna talk about what the next giveaway video is gonna be. I'm gonna take the camera outside so I can show you some of this new stuff I have in the works uh, in some better light. And then we're gonna come back in here. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna do our giveaway. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you what's coming up next. All right, so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I had worked on and then we're gonna get to this giveaway. But first, Aiden is with me and Aiden has something cool he'd like to show everybody. What do you want to show me? So, put it over here. See where my finger is? Put it right there. Tell them about it. What's that? It's glow in the dark night. That's really cool. Do you, remember, do you remember what it's called? No? Well, why don't you tell everybody, when you're holding your knife, what do you have to be with it? Careful. Very good. Want to open it up and show everybody what it looks like? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. We can pick it up. That's really cool. So, should we take it in the dark and show everybody what it does? Yes. Okay. Right, Aiden, why don't you show everybody what your knife does in the dark? It glows. Hold, hold it nice and still right there. That's really cool. For those of you who couldn't tell, it's a kid's uh, plastic kit of a Spyderco Delica, which is really awesome. And Daddy has the same knife for real, doesn't he? So now we have the same one. Except mine glows in the dark. That's right, and mine does not. All right, so it is, uh, it's 90-something degrees in Florida, but with the heat index, we've got all these heat warnings. It's like 194 degrees out or something, or it feels like that today. Super humid. Couldn't even get the camera to, to see anything because it was so much humidity a little while ago. In fact, even on these scales, you can see. So, okay. So, um, we already looked at the, the new Hinderer Eclipse a little while ago. Um, I really like carrying it. However, I don't want to mess it up because there's not a lot of them out in the world right now. Um, so I, I got some anno screws for them and everything. It looks good. I don't carry it a whole lot, but I do carry my uh, XM18 everywhere. Uh, it's a three and a half inch. Um, and it's already, I decided this was going to be my working man's knife. This is not for show. This is for use. So uh, it's hard for me to get scratches on something as gorgeous as this knife. But I think I've already showed this before. Made myself a carbon fiber uh, textured scale. Um, and it, it hides scratches and stuff pretty pretty well. Um, does a good job on that. Anyway, that's not the point. So, so let's look at what I've, I've had going on, and then we're going to look at the giveaway choices of what we're giving away today. Then we'll go inside and actually do that giveaway. So a lot of customer questions I've got back, um, and that's awesome, and I love it. Uh, it's great to know I was missed, but it's kept me really busy, so I'm enjoying a few days of a break. I'm going to take a vacation in a little bit, but here's what I managed to get done uh, custom-wise, and I've been showing pictures of my hinderers in the Facebook Rick Hinderer Users and Collectors page, and from there, I've had quite a few requests, a couple more for my video. Anyway, long story short, so something interesting I came up with. Um, I'm calling this the Chevron pattern, smooth carbon fiber. I know with the light, it's not showing it off very well, but... It's basically two pieces of carbon fiber smushed with opposite patterns. Um, and, I, you know, depending on which angle you look at, it always looks different, but it's really cool. Um, however, I'm going with my Rocky texture. So this guy up for grabs, if anybody's interested, um, I'll set a really reasonable price on it. It's on eBay right now. I just think it's cool that as you twist it around, it looks really different. And I know that because of the angle right now, you're not seeing it very well. There we go. So there's the Chevron kind of pattern. And as you... Move it around. It's like those paints that change colors as you look at them. But anyway, so I got this one up on eBay right now. Um, but if anybody wants to just deal direct and take it off my hands, I'll come up with a really reasonable price. So there's that one. Been working a lot in Kiranite lately. So I've got two of these guys. Um, this is called, I think, Sunspot Pearl. I really like the colors on there, though. And I, I hope they're coming out. Whenever I take pictures of them, they look really uh, yellow and red, not orange. But I really like the orange color. Reminds me of popsicles I used to eat as a kid that were like orange and cherry flavor swirled. Um, and of course polished up really nice. They're pretty gorgeous. One of my favorites. This is called Patriot Kiranite. Patriot, of course, because it is red, white, and blue. This is another... This is Royal Pearl. This is uh, blue and yellow. This one's up on eBay now, right now, too, I think. I'm not sure. I just wanted to see what it would look like to make one, and I like it, but... Again, I'm doing the carbon fiber thing, but it's still a really good scale. I mean, really smooth, really feels good. This one I don't have pictures of or listed on eBay. I forgot what this one's even called, but it's a, a really cool kind of brownish metallic. Um, I really like the look of it. So anyway, these things are all available right now if anybody wants one. I had somebody um, who put in a request for a whole bunch of Hinderer Eclipse scales. 
and I did them all up and I was really happy and you know great awesome that when I said here they're all done and now let's work out the price he misspoke he didn't want to buy them all he was wondering what they all would look like so now I have uh, 10 different scales for the Eclipse and yeah, I'm not sure what to do them. So I have them up on eBay right now too. I know there's not a lot of Eclipse owners out there, but if anybody's interested in one of these, I'm gonna show these now too. So starting off two moon glow ones, a smooth moon glow, nothing special there. This is sort of a rocky texture. Um, I really like this one. It, it's really cool because it's grippy, but in the dark, you can't tell. And I don't even know if, if it's showing up as a rocky texture at all right now, but. So I got both of these. And here are those two scales, you know, full on glow in the dark also. Pretty cool. This is something I love. Um, I've had this material lying around for a while and I never used it. So this is called Fly Eye Carbon Fiber. It's from Composite Craft, the same guys that make C-Tech. Uh, they sent me a sample of it to work with and I, I just kind of forgot about it. Um, and I love it so much, I actually just ordered a whole block of it. The only problem is the sample piece is really, really, really thin. Um, so I had to back it with some black G10, and I still have to kind of reshape it now just to make it all flush and everything. But um, this is really cool. This is another one i got to move the camera for. So if you just take a look, you can actually see the carbon fiber beneath these glass beads that are kind of built into it. And then you have your unidirectional carbon fiber underneath. It's amazing stuff. <clears throat> Very expensive, of course. Um, but you can't be. It's such a unique look. It's awesome. And I had this one on my Eclipse for a while. Um, and then took it off to to put that G10 on there. Um, but I'm going to make one for myself as soon as the uh, the block I came in. It's it's full one eighth inch, so it's going to fit just like any other scale once that's done. Um, but this is awesome. And once I get this one all finished up, this one will be available um, also on eBay or direct to anybody. Uh, I actually had two custom orders for this once I put a picture of it up too. So kind of just about out of this stuff until the new supply gets here but i love it it's amazing looking and it feels really different too smooth yet grippy at the same time it's awesome and this is what uh fly eye in xm18 style looks like this is a, a custom work that i'm finishing up for somebody now blue and black g10 um hey it's blue and black g10 rocky pattern you know it, it looks cool but there you go a uh, patriot kiranite piece um cape kiranite is beautiful we know that already cool smooth polished blue g10 Jade green, or as the hinderer collectors like to call it, translucent green. It'll always be jade to me, but it looks pretty good. It looks better on the knife when it has like a, a dark, darker background there, but this would look awesome with blue hardware. Peel and ply, coarse texture uh, G10. This is really cool too. I wish, you know, if I had the time, I'd take the knife all apart and everything and put each scale on, but this gives it a real sort of tactical look to it. Um, I like this a lot too. I might make one of these for myself just for when I feel like carrying it around. Probably gonna make one of these for my XM18 also because it's just a good look. And then we have a toxic green, zombie green, neon green, whatever you want to call it, with a very rough sort of worn look to it. I wanted it like that on purpose. The zombie people that love this color, you know, they like things that look all beat up. I don't know. And that's what this guy asked for, so. Um, not quite a rocky texture, but just a very worn, beaten in texture, but still super comfortable and nice and grippy and it looks awesome on the knife. All right, so all those things available right now. If you're interested, please uh, PM me or just look up um, on eBay. Actually, I'm selling them through a friend. I don't have my own eBay anymore either. That got deactivated, but it's G-Tax, G-T-A-C-S. Um, and a lot of my work is on there. A lot of some other good custom work is on there. The guy basically sells stuff for people. Um, so anyway probably going to take over eBay for myself again. So let's look at what we're giving away today. To review the contest, um, the two winners are going to select, and it's first come, first serve, so, you know, first person to PM me, uh, so first, so first person to contact me after we do the drawing is going to get their choice of either this Kershaw compound with this beautiful stone wash blade, toxic green G10 handles, I don't know what you're going to call this. I've been calling it like the bone pattern or whatever, but um, stonewash clip. Kind of sort of orange peelish liners. I forgot what I called that treatment I did to him initially when I started doing it, but I really like it. Jade G10 backspacer with gear pattern in it. Super comfortable, nice and solid. Um, still sort of make out that Kershaw logo beneath the stonewash. It is a gorgeous stonewash. I, I, I wish I could do this again on every knife, but... 
So there's this guy, and then the Coast XF350 with the Kira Knight Lava Flow handle on it. There's a couple little scuffs on there right now just from uh, being moved around. I will buff this out completely so it is mirror shiny uh, when I send it out to whoever. Uh, I've got kind of like little starburst there around the pivot. Um, this thing, frame lock, fits great in the hand. Awesome, love it. So these are the two knives that you are going to get to choose. Let's go on inside, let's get Aiden a big bowl and a bunch of slips with names on it, and let's pick a winner. Or maybe even two. So I got a big bowl here with all these little folded pieces of papers. Uh, they're the usernames of everybody that entered the contest. Um, some people did VRs, so there are more than one entry for some people. Some people just did the comment, so there's only one. The way this is gonna work is I'm gonna have Aiden reach in and pick one of these slips after I mix them around. Okay, Aiden, go ahead, pick one of these pieces of paper. All right, good. Now put it right here by the camera and open it up and show everybody the words. All right, cool dude. I've been uh, following him for a little while now too and have uh, he's got a good channel, California Prepper. You are number one, actually, kind of cool. Um, I liked your comment, I liked your VR. So, cool, that goes right there. Aiden, we're gonna pick one more, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. And now let's, oh, hold that. Right there, Pie Slayer 1992 you are winner number two. Another cool person, um, had some good comments and stuff. Um, so anyway, there we go. Uh, whichever one of you gets in touch with me first, gets first crack at which one of these knives you'd like to claim as your own, and then, you know, obviously, number two gets which one is left. So um, if you entered and you didn't win, I'm sorry, but you know, hey, don't give up. I love to do giveaways. Anybody that knows my old channel before it all got deleted uh, makes me really happy to work on custom stuff and then get it in the hands of people who are gonna appreciate it. So there'll be more coming down the line. Um, everybody remembers my Benchmade hard use test and giveaway series of videos. That was cool, people loved that. Um, got a lot of, like a lot of really good comments. So I decided to come up with something similar. It's not gonna be a knife on knife comparison. Now, I decided that one of the next big test video I'm gonna do is going to be testing different blade steels. We're gonna put these uh, blade steels through their paces. We're gonna see how they hold up through a, a series of events, some hard use, some daily kind of EDC type tasks and everything. Um, and you know, then when they're all done, we're gonna compare them, we're gonna see which held up the best. And uh, then I'm gonna take the knives that are involved and I'm going to totally customize them and remake them. And I'm gonna give away two of the four knives that are gonna be involved. So one of the important factors to making sure that we get kind of like a legit semi-scientific experiment here testing these different blade steels is that all the knives are the same. How can I get four different blade steels and make sure all knives are the same? Go and order the custom griptilians with those specific blade steels. So I'm gonna have them all griptilians. The only thing that's gonna be different is gonna be the color of the handle so that we can tell which knife I'm using throughout the test without you know, actually going and, and looking at that number up there. So we'll, no. so we'll really be able to tell at the end, like, is there really a big difference in your EDC choice? Um, 154CM versus S30Vs versus uh, N690 or N680, whichever one Benchmade offers, I can't remember, uh, and D2. So I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna do really amazing things with the knives when they're all done. Um, I'm gonna tell you more about the giveaway when uh, we, we get to it later on. But understand, it's gonna take a while. I gotta order the knives. Uh, they gotta come from Benchmade. I've gotta come up with what I'm gonna do in the test. Um, and then I've actually got to film the test. It's probably going to be two or three days and yada, yada, yada. So I've, um, I've babbled on and on and on about this enough. I will have other videos coming out with new custom work and a couple uh, mini reviews and unboxings in the meantime. Here's how you can get your first entries into the next giveaway. Content. So I'm not a big fan of Benchmade's Tonto Blade for the Griptilian. So I've narrowed it down to, I'm either going to use the 550 modified sheep's foot blade for this little ex experiment or the 551 drop point blade. So the first way that you're gonna get an entry into this contest is to comment on this video, which blade do you think I should use? Cause we're gonna, again, four identical knives. Should I use the drop point blade for the Griptilian or the modified sheep's foot blade for the Griptilian? Um, the next video I post, there's gonna be another chance to enter this contest. You're gonna have like five or six chances to enter this giveaway contest. And trust me, I'm just tooting my own horn. I do great stuff with custom Griptilian work. So the winners of this giveaway are gonna have some really sweet knives when it's all said and done. Anyway, Pie Slayer 1992 California Prepper, get in touch with me as fast as you possibly can. Thanks for watching guys. Um, and just keep watching and I'll keep making cool stuff. All right, thanks a lot guys. I'll see you again real soon.